up guys, Alex here from Tech Labs and finally, finally I got the latest update for the Moto 360 Marshmallow. So Google and Motorola guys just pushed out for us. So like I know uh, some of the guys have updated already, but still I couldn't I couldn't update till today. So uh, just today when I received it, I updated instantly. So guys, in that video, I'm going to do a little review of what I think about this Marshmallow and, uh, Android Wear update and just give you my personal recommendation about uh, things to do before updates. So yeah, without any more words saying, let's get straight into it. So the first thing I noticed right away from the update is how flawless this firmware is. I mean, on the Moto 360 first generation, we expect a ton of lag because unoptimized processor, but this firmware is just brilliant. I have no regrets updating and I mean, everything just works fine. Look at the scrolling, like the scrolling has no hiccups here. So it looks like I have a Moto 360 second generation, but it's actually the first gen and <laughs> there is like no, no really lagging and I'm so happy for this. I mean, this whole thing looks like an overclocked processor, but it's actually not because there's no way to uh, overclock it. I, I think that Google guys didn't do it here, but a ton of optimization is so unexpected from them. So thanks to Google, thanks to Motorola. It's so, I'm so happy to get it. You optimize the software and it's brilliant. The thing that I like the most is interactive watch faces. So in the Moto 360 from now, from the Marshmallow update, you can press on the actual watch face and it will give you some information. So for example, if I click on the calendar, um, there is going to be no events. Unfortunately, I don't have any events on my smartwatch, but it will bring you to some kind of a calendar or organizer and will show you your events. So uh, the same thing for the weather. If you, uh, if you click on the weather, you will see, it will show you some of the weather states uh, nearby as well as um clicking on the uh, steps here it will show you steps yeah so uh, basic functionality but really really useful you don't have to go to the actual app drawer and then uh selecting you the specific app for it so uh really really useful thanks google the next minor thing is reminders so finally we can set up some reminders or on our smartwatches and it's just uh, making the smartwatch a smartwatch i think reminders are initial and really really important part in the smartwatches so from now you, you have this app uh, reminders and you can set up some reminders by uh, drawing an emoji and saying some text so when and where so it's not only based on your location but also the time and it's really really useful well these are the most noticeable things that i could see on my smartwatch so far so guys uh, this is not the end of the video and i promise to show you how to update and talk about it so uh, as you know, I updated my smartwatch just today and it, this is just a fresh review, fresh overview of the features and um, unfortunately I couldn't get the update like 10 days ago or 5 days ago as some of the users actually got it but still it's fine so if you don't have it now you can wait and in 3 days or 5 days, I don't know when but you will definitely get it so um, if it's not, if it cannot update uh, itself then I just try disconnecting from your smartphone and um, do the update on the smartwatch. So via Wi-Fi, just go ahead to your settings and then um, to the Wi-Fi. Connect to your Wi-Fi and yes. Yeah, so you have to search for the Wi-Fi, then add the network here. So connect to it and then you go to the About section and you press on the well. On the system update so in here you will have uh, a new update coming so it's gonna be downloading so you just wait for it uh, it's fine if you let your smartwatch just close everything and stay uh, stay like um, it was a blank screen so it's gonna be fine it's just gonna be downloading this firmware in the background so don't worry about this. So after the update, you just uh, have to wait for another couple of seconds until it updates itself. And then just uh, normal optimization. So it's uh, it will try to optimize some apps or uh, processes uh, in itself. And yeah, so you just uh, wait a couple of minutes or seconds and you're done. 
So guys, it's pretty simple to update. I don't think that you will be having much trouble updating because uh, Google made it so simple to update. It just updates via phone or via Wi-Fi. But I personally recommend you updating via Wi-Fi because I did it like this. So I just it's my personal recommendation. And yes, yeah, so anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video as well as subscribe to my channel right here and not to miss any future reviews or videos. And yeah, guys, this was Alex with you from Tech Labs, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. And peace.